pray us in, then we'll share a quick word. Uh, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you that you always shine your light into the dark places, Lord, around us and within us. Would you continue to shine your light within us to expose any darkness that remains, all darkness that remains, Lord? We don't want it. So expose it and show us the way to get it out of us, Lord, to get new habits, to get new patterns. You make all things new, and we want everything within us to be new. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, so my headlights were very bad. They were dim, very dim, very old, and even like the uh, covers, they were so nasty, and so um, I needed some new headlight things, and so um, my family fixed them for me. They gave me new headlight covers uh, and then like the new headlight bulbs, etc. I got it all good for me. Well, um, we realized when they tested it that they were like so bright, <laughs> very bright, just like kind of on our road, like seeing how far down the road that they shone. Well, um, then I drove it a few days later for the first time in the evening and I was driving and I was like, wow, this is really nice. Like they're very bright. I can see far, you know, um, especially like on the country roads where there's no lights at nighttime and it was really, really helpful for me. But then I was like, okay, these are really bright. I wonder if they're too bright. <laughs> So on the way home, I observed how people responded and reacted to my lights. And um, I think it was like 12 mile span, nine people. <laughs> um, I think it was eight people for sure, possibly nine. One of them I, one of them was a little confusing, but so eight or nine people flashed their high beams at me. Um, in a 12 mile span that's like about one person per mile <laughs> and I was like oh my gosh like actually when I got home my head hurt um, from the extreme dark to like the extreme light and um, my head hurt I was frustrated because um, like the ways that it happened so that's part of the message so I'm going to talk about it so um so some people um, would go past me and then they would, um, you know, get closer to me and they would do like this little think, like little flash of their lights, like, hey, your brights are on. You know, my brights were not on. <laughs> they were not on. Actually, with these lights, I couldn't even switch over two brights. It, would, it was only one, okay? Um, and that is a clue that they were too bright if they, they you don't need brights. Anyway, so... Um, but I couldn't even switch over. There was only one setting. Okay. So some people were like, Hey, your brights are on trying to like, let me know, you know, be helpful. So there's also a thing in there. Number one, everyone was assuming that my bright lights were on, but everybody was wrong. Those were not my brights. I was, they were the regular setting. And, um, so that's set, set that in your pocket and let the Lord unfold that the next time you are tempted to assume something about somebody or assume that they're doing something and quite possibly they're not doing the thing that you think they're doing. <laughs> um, so, uh, then the next thing was, um, okay. So some people were like trying to give me a helpful hint. Well, other people were very vengeful in the way that they flashed their brights at me. Um, like some people would like, you know, it was like, um, even several flashes it wasn't bad. It was like several flashes stop several flashes like trying to get my attention thinking that maybe I'm not getting the message like okay that that was okay too like but then there were people who were vengeful and it was just like this long it seemed that they were being vengeful okay again I'm, I'll take my own advice and not assume that they're doing something that they're not assuming that they're not doing but it seemed um that they were being vengeful um like it like they would do like you know, flashes all the way up to me and then they would stop. And then as soon as they would get like right in front of me, they would like put their high beams on like right in front of me, like 
literally where it would be blinding to me, you know, at the last minute where I thought, okay, they're done flashing me. And it was like, they waited to the last minute and came up and was like, ha ha, look what I'm going to do to you. And so I was just watching people's behavior. And again, I, I can't see inside their heart. So for all intents and purposes, what it seemed like to the observer is some people were trying to be helpful and um, bring justice, which is doing the right thing. Other people, <laughs> they were being vengeful and they wanted to do to me what I did to them or what they thought that I did to them. So the Lord started unfolding that and he was just giving me that reminder and putting it on my heart to use this story to remind people that the Lord says vengeance is his. And um, it seems maybe like a small thing, what your motive in your heart is when you flash your brights at somebody, you know, um, but it's actually a big deal because the things that we do are motivated by what's in our heart. Do you have a want for justice in your heart or do you have a want for vengeance? Um, and what the Lord was, so he wants us to clean that up. He wants us to be aware of what's in our heart and we can sit there and say, well, that was a such, it was, you know, I responded this way because that way, yeah, that's true. Maybe there was, that was a trigger for you. So yeah, absolutely. Things can trigger us. However, <laughs> we're still responsible for the outcome and how we respond or react to that thing. And so these are clues, watching yourself, self-examination, seeing how you respond and or react to something that will show you very quickly what is in your heart. And so um, regardless of if there's a trigger or not, the Lord, even he says, in your anger, do not sin. He doesn't say, in your anger, do not sin. Unless you're triggered, then it's okay to sin. No. So if we're reacting and responding in uh, sinful ways that are not pleasing to the Lord, then that means that's an area that we need to deal with. We need to bring it to the Lord and let him clean us out and let him rid us of that, you know. And, um, I mean, it's work. That's our work to do. Um, there, there, there will be steps to take and training to do to put new habits in place, you know, but maybe even <laughs> test yourself. If you, if someone, you think someone's brights are on, are you flashing them and are you trying to help them or are you trying to blind them? You know, um, and then the other thing, there was one other thing about that. Um, so there was one other point that the Lord unfolded to me and he was saying how, um, there are some people and you have actually, you want justice okay in its pure form in your pure form of you you want justice but that want for justice has been perverted um, by your sin um, even by believing the lies and the whispers of the enemy and so you've crossed over into vengeance so what the Lord was even saying is some people who are walking around and doing things in vengeance and trying to be get vengeance and being vengeful to other people, if you work on that with the Lord and if you peel that back um, and get like to some roots of some things, you, a lot of people will even find that, that actually take away the sinful part and um, you are passionate about righteousness and doing things right and that's not bad um good and right order like god is a god of order so um there could be a very good root in there so allow the lord to peel away the vengeance to peel away you know the hurtful things that have hardened your heart and caused you to get into this place or even and actually and and feeding um an appetite for vengeance and take those things away and the Lord will use you as a warrior actually for justice and for righteousness um, so that can be at the root um, and that's not bad okay so um, these are some things to ponder with the Lord Lord I pray that you would unfold these more Lord and take away the th the places in us that have been twisted and marred by sin and by the enemy's camp by our own sin, by other people's sin, and take the twisting and the perversion out of these things and bring us to our true and right identities, Lord, to our true and right passions. Um, if you you have for us 
to uphold justice and righteousness. Help us to do that in a good and godly way and take out all the wrong ways that, the, that this has manifested in our lives um, as a want for, for vengeance in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you. You are the head and not the tail. May you always be above and never below in Jesus' name.